Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths. I'm Minty, and this is episode 39 of the Battleship Brawl Season 6 Tournament. There we go, finally got it right. <laughs> In this episode, we've got the Late Night Special by Doom Agent. <laughs> Going up against the Raging Empress by Air PNP. Yeah, I was I was struggling with that intro, I don't know why. Oh my god. These, these spam callers won't leave me alone. You start looking for a job, and all of a sudden it's just spam, spam, spam. It, it's the vaccination. It, it just took months to kick in. Try if you don't, at first you don't succeed, try and try and try again. <laughs> anyway. Whoa, hold on. Prediction. Prediction. I almost forgot. Who will be victorious? Late Knight or Empress? You have one minute to place your bets on who you think is going to win. Win yourself some materials. But for now, let's go ahead and get this battle underway. Don't mind the, the tactical nuke going on in the, in the uh, background. That was a different ma match. Laser go knee. <laughs> Yell at Twitch BRM. Yeah, this laser is doing some work. So far, the battle is very even. Yes, no smoke is a bit of a noob. Man, I really want to like these cram shotguns on the Light Knight Special, but they just don't do any damage. You know? <laughs> Oof, looks like one of the guns, one of the crams on the late night is just completely gone. And that's why the, the HP difference suddenly became so huge. Looks like it went right in through the right in through the bottom. Oh, Empress is looking like she's having a bit of buoyancy issues. <laughs> it doesn't. Not in this game. You have no clue what you just did. Mr. Dot Squirrel, you made a link. Squirrel. Nee. 
Of course it took you to nowhere. <laughs> Raging Empress is not a submarine. She's close to becoming one though, which is bad. Because that's uh that will get you DQ'd. Well, Blazer takes a hit, but those crames just don't do enough damage for it to matter. gun is uh, a little bit submerged. Oh, I came back out now. <coughs> Late night is listing heavily too. Also seems to be coming to a stop. Yep, propulsion is... Oh, was offline. Oh, Raging Empress, I think, is getting sinking DQ without triggering the 80% sinking. Possibly pushed down by explosions, yeah. Ooh, the turret, the laser goes flying off. Oh, is the Empress out of weapons? This gun isn't firing. This thing's dry firing. Yep, I'm gonna start the clock. I don't think she has any missiles or torpedoes, though, does she? Oh, yeah, she's down to 0. .63 of missile. So... Alright, yep. We're gonna call that round right there. Late night special score 75.220. Suddenly AP. <laughs> Right? I don't know if it was really cram leaking. There's a lot of damage to the underside portion. But maybe. I don't see any penetrations on this gun, and yet it's... Oh, wait. Right here. Yep. It had the, ne it had the neck blown out from this explosion right in this spot. <laughs> yeah, I bet you will, Stan. <laughs> All right. Here we go, round two. That laser is a lot more dangerous than I gave it credit for. <laughs> I'm not fixing matches just so you can win funny money, Stan.
Raging Empress has fallen a bit behind this time. Not by a huge amount, but it is behind. Another thing about the squadron shootout is it's not going to have a a no participation rule. Because trying to do that with, again with a large fleet would just be a nightmare. I'd spend all my time doing that rather than actually watching the battle. Another thing that's different is both differential thrust and uh, reversing will be allowed in squadron shootout. But no azipods. Um, I would say that the rules are probably about 75% done, and I'll, I will likely finish them this weekend. Well, the difference here, Mitch, is that there will be missiles and APS involved, so simply stopping is not going to be good enough. <laughs> Yeah, probably this weekend, Doom Agent. Probably. That's my plan, but we'll see if it actually happens. <laughs> oh, Raging Empress is rolling over. Oh, now she's rolling back. Now she's rolling over again. Make up your mind. Oh, she's going over this time. I'm surprised she's not getting DQ time already. There it is. 80% sinking. There she goes. <laughs> Shitty Linda Titanic. Uh, 88.3 to 0. Go ahead and get round three underway. Wow, we're all the way over here. Have you tried betting on the right ship, BRM? Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. I would have bet on the Raging Empress too myself. But apparently that dual purpose Sea Wiz and uh, AP Railgun are doing some work. Because it doesn't look like the Crams are doing all that.
that much. I mean, they're doing something. I guess the, I guess there is a lot of wood in the Raging Empress that's getting blown out. Oh, come on, don't stutter now. It's the third and final round. Oh, for a second there, I thought that was cram parts flying. Those are just blocks. This round's a bit closer between the two. Seems to need a second to calculate the impact of the shotgun cram. Who knows, that could be exactly it. Like, who knows what this game is gonna do. Like, half the time I feel like it's about to become sentient. Cause it just kinda does what it wants. Skynet for the win. <laughs> Spent a lot of time looking at the Empress. Let's check in on the late night special. Oh, it has lost the cram again. Man, that thing's got a high rate of fire. <laughs> Oh, it looks like the railgun is out, too. Empress might be able to pull off a win this round. Boilers fell out. Raging Empress is getting DQ time. How is the underwater gun? There's an underwater gun? Does Late Night Special have an... Oh yeah! I forgot about this. Looks like it's doing just fine. Plugging away. And kaboom. So much for the Empress being able to pull off a win that round, huh? <laughs> Let's see if it is not an actual bed. Stop trying to take a nap. <laughs> 74 to 0, which makes this a uh, pretty cut and dry win here. Wow. 74% on the Empress. And Late Night produces an upset. So everybody, those few people who just, who predicted the Late Night Special to win, 
Made some serious money there. Well, materials. Channel points. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad we got a uh, an actual battle in for the most part. Still DQ and whatnot killing things off, but at least it was sinking DQ. For the most part. And also some just 80% in sinking. Yeah, agreed, Mitch. I would have I would have gotten uh, shafted too. <laughs> Minty coin. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, good battles tonight, somewhat. Uh, thanks. <laughs> You're not wrong, though. You're not wrong. But yeah, so tomorrow we're going to be playing Goose Goose Duck. Which is basically Among Us, but with some extra features and things like roles and proximity chat built in. And, uh... Yeah, it's free to play. So if you want to if you want to join in, feel free. It's on Steam, free to play, like I said, so... He should be here to kill y'all. <laughs> It'll be fun. I played some... Over the weekend with uh, with some of my uh, real life friends, and it's got everything that's good about Among Us with other stuff that makes it even better. So it's totally worth a try. I, th I think if you like Among Us, you will love Goose Goose Duck. <laughs> Quiet. Yep, no problem, God's Child. See you around. That is going to be the end of this episode and of the stream. So, yeah, thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the battlefield.